Hello and welcome to the international programme. Well this month we're back in the kitchen with Belen but unfortunately due to Covid we can't bring you our usual flavours from around the world with the help of the folks at the Lebenshelfer. Before this lockdown Belen met with local chef Martin Paulus who shows us how to cook a hearty winter meal from Franconia. Good morning Martin. Good morning Belen. Thanks for taking your time. Today is your free day, but you yep. decided to help us to cook something very, very special from this area. What is what we're cooking today? We have pork shoulder. It calls uh, Schäufela. And it's from the shoulder of the pork. Schäufela is a very traditional dish. In Germany, we make it with the whole skin. It's um, a very difficult to make a, um, a good Kruste, the skin of the pork to become it ta very tasty and become it very crunchy. Uh, you see here the whole things what we need for... All the ingredients, yes. The whole ingredients for doing Schäufela with... Normally it would served with uh, sauerkraut and dumplings, okay. potato dumplings. That's uh, sauerkraut, it's white cabbage, cut it and salt it and you can buy it like that. So yeah. you can buy it. You didn't yeah. make it yourself. You did buy yeah. it. Yeah. Then you have uh, take some white wine, mm -hmm. um, salt and pepper, juniper berries, caraway. I always take some mustard, laurel, uh, laurel mm -hmm. and some cloves. And you can do some bacon inside, or I this day take some ham. Mm -hmm. And there's some fat from the goose. Yeah. For finish it, you take some honey. Then uh, the main dish. The Schäufele, you need some pork shoulder. That's the, the whole shoulder. Yeah, and they make one cut. Okay. Yeah. They make two pieces. And of it. you have two pieces. And this day we have three portions. Okay. It uh, looks a lot, but uh, don't forget there's a, a bone inside. That's um, where the Schäufele has its name. And you need some bones. Okay. And uh, here we have spices, also curvy, pepper bell, salt, majoran pepper and some garlic. Do you yeah. use uh, white pepper? I always black. use white pepper because um, you don't see it like. Okay. In the, yeah. okay. You can also use the black pepper or fresh. Just in case. And very important beer. for the sauce. Of course, we're in Germany. Beer. Yeah, <laughs> you're in Germany. Yeah. We have uh, two uh, kinds here. We have some dark, okay. so you get a darker sauce. Yeah, And you have uh, this uh, lighter third. one, okay. A lighter good. one. It's um, nature trüb. Um, it's not like a, a pilz. Okay. It's not so herb. It's uh, a smooth beer. Yeah, okay. Keller beer. Okay. And then here's the uh, ingredients for the dumplings and a little bit to make it beauty on top. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we start with sauerkraut. Uh, and then uh, we, we, we put the okay. the shoulder in inside. Um, here, this is green is for vegetables and red is for, for meat. For meat yeah. Always take care that uh, fresh meat, pork meat, uh, you don't want to have on the vegetables. The, the mixing yeah. is my own secret. You see your the, own the whole secret? ingredients, but uh, I have my own mix and. I won't tell yeah. anyone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How many carrots yeah. do I need? Um, I guess we need two. So here we need some cubes. The whole vitamins and yeah. important things are under the skin, so I let it on. Do you know you sweet apple? I taste it in the Ah, that's sweet and sour. And what? that's my favorite taste of apples. It's so fantastic. Right. Okay, yeah. there we go. So, we always use that, yeah? Ah, okay. So, um, so we'll just put it here. Yeah, and boil it with water and let it stand over there. Okay. So, if you need uh, some vegetable uh, soup, okay. you always have one. And then you have okay. beautiful cubes. So while you're cutting yeah. this, yeah. I will cut the other ones. Mm -hmm. Some onions. Oh my god. Yeah. That is quick. Yeah. I don't need a machine. <laughs> no, you so? do that. <laughs> so, so tell me, um, when did you start to think about becoming a cook? Oh, there was a... In the fifth grade of school, mm -hmm. uh, one uh, 
camera, school camarade of me as uh, uncle. He was cook, and he told me a little bit about uh, how it is to be a cook. And then um, I do a little practice mm -hmm. in a small restaurant called Spitzerei in Erlangen. And, uh, when you were so young? Yeah, I was 14 yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, for okay. the practice. And then in the hotel. After the practice, I, have, uh, I thought uh, it's very good to be a cook. This is my yeah. life. Okay. Do you remember the first thing you cooked? Yeah, my brother and me, we found a, a cooking book and uh, there was some, uh, some chicken leg and wine sauce and we tried and it tastes awful. <laughs> Perhaps it was the wine, you were too young. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it was very funny. Now we can uh, roast the, the sauerkraut. So okay. first we put the fat inside. We need uh, to cut the beef, uh, the, the we ham. Need to cut it? The, yeah, uh, small cubes. In the okay. Bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I do. It's very okay. Quickly. <laughs> so. And then you can put the onions inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, Here inside. Yeah. That's gas, yeah? You have uh, temperature in seconds, okay. yeah? So, we don't need color here inside, okay. so that's the matter because we have put it inside uh, until it's hot. Okay, here we need some beer inside. So I guess this is a must ingredient in every kitchen in Germany, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For kidding, um, just put one in the dish and one in the cook. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, put the beer inside. So you pour the beer there? Okay, yeah. Okay, yep. together? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then, normally you have to cut the skin and for a good crunch you need to boil a little bit and it's very easier to cut than like this is like a little bit like leather, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so you so can you cut, cut it, cut yeah? It you need a lot of power, yeah? When you cook it. Okay. So, now I cook it. Okay. That's my... The side of the spice. So this is whole inside, yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. It's, mm. That's it, then, then. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, now. And let's boil it a little bit. And it it takes 20 minutes. And you have to see that the whole skin is under water, yeah. So we put the whole beer inside. Water yeah. on the beer. Yeah. Okay. So. So you did take both. So. You empty the beer. You, you need that the the whole skin is under water, yeah. Wonderful. If you have haven't, you it comes like leather after. In the cooking. liquid. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Done. We don't need color, so we put. You put it together. Inside. Yep. Okay. The whole thing. So. Very good for this. A little bit. Yeah, and then and now we need wine. Remember, one glass for the cook, one glass for the dish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Water at zero point three, and just let it boil. Yeah. Now you have two choices. Um, you can use this tea infusion egg, or you can build uh, a little bag by yourself mm -hmm. for your spices. So we need some. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. You can uh, grill it a little bit, mm -hmm. so it's better for tasting. The etheric oils comes out. Okay. Yeah. They are just burning. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so many. Yeah. Okay. I love yeah. the taste of it. Yeah. Not too much of the cloves Tiny. because they have water power. Yeah. If you grill it a little bit. You can see it like uh, yeah. um, it comes the, the oil out, and then you will get a, a better tasting here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Take care that it's not burned. So then we need some salt, a little bit. A little Do bit I pepper. have to keep a movie? Yeah. And this is it. Pepper. pepper. Yeah. Okay. The so. white pepper. And you will see. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. It looks like my skin it looks in the like, morning uh, without Yeah, drink. yeah, yeah. And 
take a smell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and that's uh, very good for the taste. Yeah, and put it here inside. And then we build a little bag, so we don't have the you make like a bag. spices in the mouth. Yeah, okay. and if you have uh, oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah. Mm. So should I hold yeah? it? Mm. Nice and warm for the winter time, no? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, if you have a busy day in your office, and uh, you can take a little bit of herbs and smell. It's mm -hmm. very good for concentration. Then put it inside. Always watch how much water is inside. I think we need some more water. Yeah, I guess yeah, some water in. Really you have to, to boil and not to roast. And that you don't lose it. Are you? Yeah, take it uh, here. For the sauce we need some vegetables also. Uh, and the we bones. have here some uh, yeah, the bones. bones. Yeah. We put it later inside and uh, we need also some vegetables. In Franconian dishes you have a lot of celery, but in the pork I take a little bit sweeter things, it's onions and carrots. Okay. Big cubes. Yeah. Remember we have washed before? Yeah. Vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All this. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And onions also. And oh, that's the perfect dish for me. Yeah. I don't have to do so much cleaning yeah. up. <laughs> Just cubes. There you go. Yeah. And I let all, everything on. Okay. So, uh, if it's hot, we um, roast a little bit. It's like the same as we do with the spices. If you have a roasting, you get taste. Okay. Yeah. And then we put it inside, and then everything in the oven. Okay. So now for the dumplings we need inside some bread, white bread, yeah, roasted with butter. Mm -hmm. So we need some cubes, this some butter. With uh, one eye, just watch it, yeah, and then that's dumpling dough. You have ten choices, just get one and Try and find your favorite. Yeah? Okay. So you made 180 and put it on there. Okay. So, I have to make it now. so we need that and then make one hole. Okay. And put two of this inside. There we go. Yeah. Put it inside. Yeah. And then. And then roll it again. Rolling. Okay. Yeah. And then put it in the refrigerator for a short time. They take 20 minutes. Yeah. So if 20 minutes before the schäufel are ready, we have boiled water and boil okay. it. So we take the other side. Looks very smooth and a little bit like boiled pork. So it was a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. And now you can cut it easily. Because Don't cut it in, into the meat, just the skin, okay? And we make so, and so it's like a raute. Yeah, and you can do how you want, yeah, mm -hmm. the size, uh, you can do small cubes, bigger cubes. No, yeah. I understand why but, um, you took it first, yeah. You should have a, a Rautenmuster, like the Bavarian uh, flag, you can uh, put a little bit of spice on there. Yeah. So. Then we put a little bit of the vegetable water, that's under water, yeah, that's okay. Oops. Then now we take the schäufle, put it inside in the oven. I have just 145 degrees mm -hmm. and it's just heat, no, uh, no water or something else. What you can do if you have uh, more dumplings than uh, you can eat, you can do a dessert. You see here inside is the... Yeah, right, yeah. right, okay. And we cut it in small sizes. No. So if it's one guest isn't coming and you have two dumplings over from the last day, don't throw it away. The carbonate is uh, very strong and it's very good for your stomach because the bacterials need a long time to verdauen. Digestion. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
but uh, we need butter also. I think butter is a must in the German kitchen. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. So. Okay. Dann lassen wir das ein bisschen anbraten. Derweil können wir uns ein bisschen Dekoration bauen. So. Oh, wow. Und dann it's very oh, easy. Nice. Yeah. And you have a nice decoration for your plate. So. And then we have some um, apple compote. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer the um, with the pieces inside, not the like a brie. It's a compote and that uh, like a marmalade. And you have a little bit slices inside, and that's. Uh, Can you take a little bit of cinnamon? Please? Yeah, yeah, we have here also. Okay. So, first, uh, roast it a little bit. Yeah, you see it, okay. if it comes a little bit brown. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And it then, looks like potato. Actually. Yeah. And then you need a lot of sugar because okay. it tastes like. This uh, is sugar with cinnamon. Sugar with cinnamon. And a little bit mm -hmm. of uh, bourbon yeah, vanilla. You know, okay. Bourbon vanilla. Yeah. The third is uh, vanilla is always good. And then we need again. No? So you took the bread crumbs? Yeah. Oh, so wow. it has to come a little bit dry. Yeah, like uh, Marillenknödel. You know, we need a little bit more. Yeah. And sugar, 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 sugar. Oh my Come God. sweet. Very sweet, the way you like it, huh? Yeah. So, now it's perfect. It comes, uh, have to come a little bit dry, yeah? You see? Yeah. If it's too wet, it's not, not so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. You take care, it comes uh, really fast brown. So, so I, I guess for dessert, one dumpling for one portion is uh, almost enough, yeah? Oh, you can even have a free portion. So? I need to try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, different, huh? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Perfect. I tell you, I don't Thanks need a lot. Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, you take some butter for the dumplings and it's just a little bit brown, and then you put the salad brussel inside, the, the bread, mm -hmm. bread crumbs. You can see the egg white and the, the milk in the butter. Mm -hmm. It's going on the bottom and it's roasting between the fat. Now you can smell it. It's have a little taste of nut and uh, okay. very, good, uh, very good aroma. And you now you see it comes yeah. a little bit brown. Yeah. Yeah. So now we and now it. you get it in. Yeah. And then ausschalten, get it off. So. Um, okay, that's it. So you put the dumplings in boiled water. Okay. You need salt. If you make it the day before, yeah. you just have to cover it with yeah. a wet towel. Something like this, which yeah. that will be more than enough. Okay. Then uh, the dumplings, one minute boil, and then just and simmer. How long? Uh, 20 minutes. So the sauerkraut brown. is ready. You can put honey. one spoon of honey inside. Right. Then now. We take the schäufle. Okay, ich gehe auf das mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Vorsichtig, sehr heiß. So, uh, and now we put it in the 250 degrees. Okay. Then it pops out like popcorn. The now it's point. a little bit more water than we need. Okay, it comes, there you go. Uh, uh, okay. It comes better if you reduce the water. Okay, yeah? wonderful. So, Seven minutes. You can see now it's, it's uh, coming out. Yeah. Yes, yes, I see it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like popcorn in the middle. Yeah. Yes. So take really care because now it's really, really hot. We have yeah? to be careful. Yeah. 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 
now you can re restore a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You're already done. I guess. Fertig. Mm. Yeah, ready. Okay. Yeah. This is okay. Now we're starting with dumplings. Okay. And then put something from there. On there. And on top. So, and then between there, put short one. Mm -hmm. So, very good sauce. You can do it thicker with some Stärke, but in Franconia we take just the gravy. Yeah. So, now we're ready. Guten Appetit! Guten Appetit! Well, as you can see, the Christmas season has officially started. But things are going to be a little bit different this year. We've been along to see Bettina in the town marketing department to find out what's happening in and around Herzogenarach. One special thing is um, Herzo shopping. Um, that's a, a special event and if you want to go shopping for Christmas presents uh, in the high street in Herzog or in uh, Herzog uh, as a whole, you um, just can have a look at our homepage. There is a list of shops which participate and you can choose your, your um, favorite shop and make a date there and you can go shopping on your own or with your family um, at a special time. So you can go shopping after 6 p.m. for example on a Wednesday if you want to. So that's only you in the shop and you can have a look around and, and browse and just uh, select all the things uh, you need and you want to and uh, you have your time and you are on your own. So that's uh, quite important in, in times like these. And on the high street there are some small trees without decorations. Yeah, there are around uh, 20 um, smaller Christmas trees and you can choose one if you want to and decorate it with your own uh, things you have and you have to bear in mind that the, the uh, Christmas decoration has to be weatherproof and that you pick it up um, at the end uh, after Christmas. Don't miss the opportunity for a selfie here in the market square. And while you're there, pop your letter to the Christkind in this special box. In the beautifully decorated shop windows, you'll find some nativity scenes from the Krippenverein. But there's also some specially decorated windows to look out for. Samira Tang from the Cultural Department tells us more. Of course, we've asked some local artists to create an advent calendar this year. So see if you can find them and find the gift from the Generationszentrum. The members of the local business association encourage us all to shop locally this year. And what better gift than a voucher in the form of a Herzo Gutschein? And don't forget to support all our local restaurants through the takeaway service. And perhaps even by buying gift vouchers for a meal for when the restaurants are back open. We at the international team wish you a very happy Christmas and a very healthy New Year. Goodbye.